Hi everybody and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about whether it's the right time to buy or sell your house. But first I'd like you to draw your attention to our latest article in Forbes magazine, link in the description below, where we talk about the factors affecting the UK property market and how you can get on the property ladder. So before going on to the sell or buy, what's happening to the UK property market? Well, at the time of filming, end of August 2023, the market has definitely gone soft. Mortgage approvals are down, sales are down, but listings paradoxically are up. It's clearly a buyer's market with buyers able to ask for discounts on selling prices depending on the circumstances of the seller. So is it the right time to sell a house? Well, it'll depend on your circumstances. If you don't have to move, then I would argue it's not a great time to sell. Maybe relisting quarter one next 2024 is, is probably a better time, and I'll explain why at the end of this video. But similarly, you may be forced to sell. You may have a change in family circumstances, need more room. You may be choosing to downsize and need less room, in which case, Taking a small discount on the sale price to free up capital may not be a problem. You may be enjoying a, change, a career move and a consequently a change of town or city. Or you simply may be tired of the place that you're in and want to get to somewhere new. And in these circumstances, given the, the state of the market, you might expect to have to offer or accept an offer that's slightly below the asking price that the estate agent is offering it at. Um, I wouldn't recommend opening with a lower price. I'd go with what the agent says is the market valuation, but set your expectations accordingly, particularly if you want a quick sale. Now, let's turn to the other side of the table or the other side of the coin. Is it the right time to buy a house? Well, based on what I've just said, arguably it is. But as a buyer, you have to decide what kind of buyer you are. If you need a mortgage, Interest rates are at, still at an all-time high. Base rate is five and a quarter percent. Mortgage rates around six, six and a half percent. And although there are signs that the long-term fixed rate is starting to fall, we aren't yet in a period where we can predictably say that interest rates are bound to fall. That being said, the headline inflation figures are coming down. Food price inflation is easing off. So all those factors that the Bank of England take into account when setting base rates point to possibly a rate levelling, maybe a rate cut over the next three months. We're just going to have to wait and see. Cornerstone Tax are the UK's leading stamp duty advisors covering SDLT, LBTT and LTT. Contact us for pre-transaction advice and reclaiming overpaid tax. So if you do want to buy and you need a mortgage, make sure you can afford it. Make sure that your budget for, for paying your monthly mortgage payment can tolerate a little bit of variance if you do a variable rate. Remember, if you lock yourself into a two-year or five-year fixed rate mortgage, you'll have predictability. That's no bad thing. But imagine the emotional impact you're going to feel if in one, two or three years, base rates are down from five and a quarter to two and a half percent, and you'll feel like you're paying double with what you should. And that's not going to be a particularly nice feeling. The thing that's often overlooked by purchasers when looking to buy a house is whether the stamp duty is accurate. The online calculators and estimators that you see on websites and indeed on HMRC's own website aren't accurate. They don't take into account every single relief or allowance and they leave out important decisions like is the property wholly residential or is it not? Is it suitable for use as a dwelling or is it not? You have to make sure that the figure you're using for stamp duty in your affordability calculations is as accurate as possible because quite often mortgage offers get turned down because of an overestimate in stamp duty. Also, the money that you save by getting the stamp duty right can either be used to slightly increase your offer to secure the property or indeed used for improvements and refurbishments once you move in. And that's pretty much what you need to consider as a buyer. I think you also need to be realistic about the seller's circumstances and be sensitive to them. This is all in negotiation. And really, that's about where we're at. Now, 
I'm going to be revisiting this topic towards the end of the year, particularly the market trends. And uh, if you click on the like button below and subscribe, you'll receive regular updates about this topic and all the other topics that we publish on property, property tax and the property market generally. I've been David Hanna for Cornerstone Tax SDLT Refunds. Thanks for listening.